What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike. This high school basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Perfect place to cater your next team event. They've been doing it for 30 years. Hey, Long Beach Polly, what time is it? That's right, it's state time. The Jackrabbits fresh off a chip, but just like Pringles, you can't stop at one. After beating Harvard Westlake in the Southern Section Championship, they want a state championship. First up is Fairfax. Jason Gutierrez shooting it with confidence. And to start off, it was just the facts, ma'am. 5-0 Fairfax to open this game. Before Jazzy J, Jasmine Jones, a major key to victory. So her mom was pretty excited about that one. Polly, the big challenge against Fairfax and a lot of smaller teams for them is going to be how do you beat the zone? You do it with long-range shots like that one from Kyra Brady. Great passing as you see inside here. Because of uh, the talent and the versatility of Polly's bigs inside with Jasmine Jones and Ayanna Clark, they've done it mostly through passing so far this season, not really settling for a lot of jump shots. But when they do and they miss, you also beat the zone with offensive rebounding. And you've got the best offensive rebounder in the country in Ayanna Clark. On the other end, obviously, Polly playing great defense, getting out in transition will also beat the zone if you can get down there before it sets up. Ah, Jones just olays that one, kind of backhands it into the basket. Of course, when it's Miller time, number three for three, Danae Miller, uh, that's going to help hit it from outside as well. A huge first quarter for Polly with 24 points in the first eight minutes. Jack Rabbits, though, need more than just Clark, Jones, and Miller. They're going to need production off the bench, which means it's time to hit your cat daddy. Cat Headsmith comes off the bench and drops in seven points real quick in the second quarter to help keep the Jack Rabbits out in front of the Lions 26 to 13 right now. Then, of course, you do go inside to the notorious Jan. Yanni Clark has just been absolutely unstoppable this year. Nobody that Polly has played in California has been able to even slow her down. Even when she's in foul trouble, she still ends up with 20 points. On the other end for Fairfax, Fato Semibene gets that one to go. Then Kayla Brown off the dribble, going to bounce that back to Gutierrez. Gutierrez led the Lions with 19 points. At halftime, even the Jackrabbits alumni is balling out. Sierra Belvin gets the half-court shot. She's at LMU, just finished her freshman season. <laughs> I bet a nice little poly reunion there as she's balling out. Looking like uh, Sierra Durant hitting from deep. More of the same story in the second half for Polly Clark, 22.7 rebounds, casual. Danielle Lair going to bring Fairfax within 20. They did battle back in the third quarter. But Jones had 27 points, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks, 3 steals, 3 assists, and you can see a block, a rebound, and a basket all on one possession from her on that one as she takes it the distance and does it herself. She's a valuable player to have in a game like this because she can battle down in the post, but obviously also with her versatility, she's able to pass the ball inside, she's able to rebound it, she's able to start the break, and as Carl Bugs has said, that kind of lets them overcome whatever a team's trying to do defensively especially <laughs> when you've got Yanni Clark inside. And as we said, she's been pretty much unstoppable. Realistically, there's just only a couple teams in the state that can hang with Polly inside, and Fairfax just not really one of them, as Clark and Jones go for 50 in this game. Nice inside big-to-big -big passing for the Jackrabbits. They're going to move past Fairfax, and they will be hosting Mission Hills on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in the SoCal semifinals. They win this one 77 to 58. Huge game on Tuesday. If they win that, it would likely be a nationally, nationally ranked battle with Clovis West the following Saturday at the Pyramid. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's, a great place to eat down on 2nd Street. Hopefully lots more state basketball action to come. We've got a couple teams playing very well in the state playoffs for the coverage of all of that. You've got to keep it right here.